So hello guys, Nadion here and today I am going to tell you what to do when your WAN port isn't working. So what is a WAN port? So WAN port is basically the port from where you get your internet from your internet service provider. So if on your router your WAN port isn't working and you need to get your Wi-Fi working, what can you do? Let me show you. So uh, just ignore my drawing for a second and let's just think that this is our network provider which is the internet for us okay so from this internet we are getting connected to our van port so this is basically the van port which i shown you and your devices are connected like this okay so what if this port fails as you can see uh, the internet light of this router isn't showing up i've connected it on my van so you can see this is not working this is my other router okay which i accidentally bricked but to have a look here uh, my net provider is actually connected to me so according to the diagram that i've shown i've connected my van cable to this port and my internet is going via this cable to my pc yeah i know i'm child while drawing stuff but let's have a look okay so let's see uh, what we are doing over here okay so this is our internet provider and we are connected to our lan this port isn't working anymore so we are connected to our any lan port that you have okay and you are connecting via this to this okay so now just go on your router and find out your mac address okay find out your mac address on the router okay so take that mac address you put it in on your pc okay or or just tell your network provider to enable the mac id of this pc okay so what is mac i will tell you this is just basically your physical address but i'll show you how to do it okay so now what you are going to do here is very very simple you are going to dial up your internet connection via this pc okay not by your router but by your pc okay and you are going to create a new internet from your pc which shares all over even through your wifi okay so let me show you by actual demonstration how to do it so this is your pc you just need to open up cmd and just type ip config okay once you type ip config you can see this is my ethernet adapter that is my lan port and i'm getting this ip so why i'm getting this ip because my router isn't providing any ip because i've bricked my router okay so dhcp isn't working that's why you're seeing this differently over here your router router might show something else okay so what we're going to do here is we are connected via lan as you can see and i've connected i have created this broadband connection so i'm going to remove it just to demonstrate what i'm trying to explain over here uh, you can connect to your wifi by directly setting up your ip address uh, on your network settings by going in control panel you can just go here and set the ip address which is provided by your internet provider if you have an static ip okay if you have a static ip but if you are having a dial up connection like me you need to create a connection okay and you need to type in the details provided by your internet service provider okay so yeah and you need to check this box um so as you can see my internet is connected so this symbol comes up so as you can see i am connected and yeah everything is working okay so i have a dial up connection right now okay uh, and it works via this way let me show you uh, don't worry this is not a ufo it's your router ignore my drawing again so what we are doing here is this is my internet it comes down to here and via switch making your router as a switch I'm taking this connection from here so I've dialed up connection my from my PC and now I'm getting it this connection via 
this switch. Okay. So let me show you one more thing. Ignore this. Uh, if you're not getting connected, even though your credentials are right, just make sure you do this uh, trick that I did. So, as you can see, my Mac ID is here, uh, and I know you're not that good enough to actually do something with my PC by seeing these things. So, uh, this is my Ethernet. Okay, this is my physical IP address, which is verified by my ISP. Okay, so. What I had to do is, I had to go in my device manager and I had to physically, physically type my MAC address, okay? So, how do you do it? So, you just go in this. Uh, you might see something else, but uh, it, it must be mentioned as Ethernet connection or Gigabit connection. So, you go in advanced and here you need to find out a value where yeah this one the so locally administered address is your physical address you can also see in laptops as network address so you just have to type the physical address which was on your router so the, the mac id which your router had you need to type it over here or you need to enable the mac address as i told you previously and voila you get your internet over here so now you need to share your connection this broadband connection for your ethernet to your router and so to your wi-fi okay so what you're going to do is you're going to basically go in properties you need to go in sharing you need to allow your network to get access and then you need to just set your set it to your ethernet okay and just click okay so yeah Okay, so now you've shared your internet connection. You can again go and check. Okay, so now what is happening is you and the end of internet is getting shared for your Wi-Fi. So let me show you how to do it. You need to go in your internet as it is shared on your internet. You need to go in IPv4. You need to go in properties, and now you can see there is some IP decided already by your PC. Okay. So now what you need to do is this is actually a master IP. So what is a master IP? Basically, this is the first very first IP in your internet subnet. If you want to be that technical for default gateway, you have to type the same IP address. Okay. So doesn't matter if you type it or no, but here you, you can set any DNS. I'm setting up the DNS, which I love. Okay. And there we go. Now we we have this IP address, so we need to connect all our devices. We start with having all these three things in the beginning. So let me show you how to do that. I have this Wi-Fi which is not having an internet access. So we need to go in properties and we need. Uh, let's just assume for a second this is your other another PC or it's your mobile phone. Okay, you need to set your IP address with 192.168.137.234 you can type anything till 255 as it shows so i'm setting this to let's say 30 so for the default gateway now you need to type 192.168.137.1 this will be the ip of your pc which you have dialed up okay uh, for the DNS, it doesn't matter, but you know, yeah. So, validate settings upon exit, you go out, and now it will have internet. Now, as if I'm on this PC, uh, this actually won't work for me right now, but let's just assume you're on a different PC and you are going in ipv4 you are setting your ip address it will work for you let me show show real proof on my actual phone maybe let's see how it works on your phone
so if you like this technique please do like and subscribe to my video and i'll be posting lot many of content soon and i'm taking youtube seriously goodbye